Neurogress presents Operation No Thanks Neurocontrolled Prosthetic Limbs. It may seem like the stuff of sci fi movies, but advancements over recent years have resulted in real breakthroughs when it comes to neurocontrolled prosthetic limbs. Also referred to as mind controlled prosthetic limbs, these could help to revolutionize the world for those who would otherwise be destined to spend their lives without a hand or a leg in and out of hospital having various surgeries and operations. Testing and research into these neurocontrolled prosthetics has been going on for some years, but there have been rapid advancements over the past couple of years. In fact, 2015 saw one of the world-known companies in this industry introduce the first neurocontrolled prosthetics in the form of lower limbs for amputees. This was a huge breakthrough in the industry and what could be the start of a revolution that transforms the quality of life for amputees. How do neurocontrolled prosthetic limbs work? In a nutshell, these neurocontrolled prosthetic limbs enable amputees to control the limbs through the power of thought. It sounds like something out of the $6 million man, but this is something that has already proven successful. The development of neurocontrolled lower limbs for amputees being fitted with this groundbreaking technology. As advancements continue, more and more people will be able to avoid surgery and operations as a result of being able to access these prosthetics. Usually, the technology works through tiny sensors that are implanted into the residual muscle tissue. These sensors are then able to trigger the movement that is required by the person wearing the prosthetic limb. We are all used to technology such as smartphones and smart TVs. Well, this is the next step up with many describing these as smart limbs. These limbs are able to learn in real time and adjust to the speed and style of the user's movements. Experts involved with the development of these prosthetics concluded that in able-bodied individuals, movement begins in the subconscious, which then results in electrical impulses that control movement. This is what medics and researchers involved in neurocontrolled prosthetic development have tried to replicate, and so far, it is proving to be quite a success. Development continues into neural control. Development and research into neurocontrolled prosthetics is ongoing, and a number of organizations and medical facilities are getting involved experimenting with different types of approaches and technologies. This year saw a man who was paralyzed from the neck down learning how to move his hand again after he was fitted with neurocontrolled prosthetics. Electrical implants were implanted in the brain and sensors were inserted into his arm. This allowed the man to basically use the power of thought to control his hand movements. Doing things such as picking up a drink or eating with a fork have become possible again. While these are simple things that most of us take for granted, they can make a huge difference to the quality of life for someone who has had limbs amputated or suffered paralysis. The company Neurogress, which leads the development of the neural control of mechatronic systems, have advanced this even further by removing the need for inserting sensors altogether. Their neurocontrol technology currently works encouragingly with distal limbs by analyzing the biosignals transmitted from the brain's cortex. The results of tests with subjects so far have been very encouraging, and research continues with using AI to increase the accuracy of the prosthetic movement. By them combining these brain waves with their mechatronic 3D printed adjustable prosthetic devices, they have removed the need for any invasive surgery entirely. The intention now is to streamline this type of technology so that it can become a mainstream routine treatment in the future. Moreover, the fact that with the advancements of technologies, such devices are going to be available at a moderate price, even comparing with current invasive, non-neurocontrolled prosthesis, encourages developers to bring a better way of living to the majority of people in need worldwide. Experts have high hopes in terms of the success of this type of treatment, and it could dramatically reduce the need for multiple invasive surgical procedures for many people. What do you think about thought-controlled limbs? A modern innovation to improve people's lives or a step into the gray area of artificial intelligence and a robotic race of humans? You were listening to a Neurogress production. Invest in the interactive mind control devices of the future by buying tokens now. Visit neurogress.io.